What's up guys, Liv Cook here and some of you may already know me as a freestyle footballer, world champion in fact, <laughs> but I am not here today for that, no, 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 I've put the football down because today I want to learn from the property legend Samuel Leeds, so this is a three day vlog shadowing the man himself, let's go. So it is about 9am and I've just arrived in Beaudesley. Look at this place, the nature, the air, it even smells good. And we are here at Ribsford Castle. This is Samuel Leeds' current and ongoing castle development, the famous one. So let's go check it out and shut my door. <laughs> Look at this place, it is massive. Now Samuel bought this about a year ago for £800,000 at auction and it, it's got like a lot of heritage to this building. It used to be a training camp for the French soldiers in the World War. So like when you're walking around you can see like holes in the ground where they used to stick the flag and stuff. It's really interesting but that is what makes it so difficult. So because it's got so much history, this building, it's actually a grade two star listed, which means you need like permission from the local council and the heritage team to do almost anything. Like changing door handles can be a nightmare. Um, changing window frames, you have to get the same ones made. So it becomes really expensive. And that's why this project is taking so long, but it's also why you got it so cheap. So 800,000 pounds at auction for this massive building and he's spending about three million pounds on it. And currently it's got a GDV of 6.35 million pounds. Oh, here he is, the man himself. <laughs> this is Ben, Samuel's right hand. How are you? Hey, Liv, how are you doing? I'm good, thank you. Yeah, I'm good. good to see you again. As always. Yeah, always Feels like always yesterday. A I know, right? Was. I know, last I know. working day. Yeah, nice I'm just um, bigging up the castle look. and the numbers. Yeah, it's Your all amazing good. work. No, thank it's your you. baby, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, see, see, see if we can get this bad boy finished. Yeah, big meeting this morning though, right? <laughs> big meeting today. Big so what is today. that? That's the local heritage team, local council? Yeah, exactly. So it's going to be a, a bit of an exploration. Okay. I'll see what else we can do to um, to add more value to this already amazing project. So, so the current GDV is 6.35 million, right? Yeah, and it. you've already got permission for all of that. Yeah. But it. this morning you're meeting, you're going in for more permission. Yeah, potentially, yeah. So, so we'll, if you we'll get it, what goes. kind of GDV are we looking at? Early days yet. Come on, come on. You want to say it Come on, much. say it. You want to say it. Part of you wants to say it. I'd love it. to add another two or three to it, but we'll see. Another two or three. Another two or three million. You see the way you say it's not like, just another two or three million. We'll see how you it know. goes. But just it's, another it's two early, or three. It's early, early days. Early, early yeah, days. Yeah, of course. So, yeah. It's exciting though. I'm excited to, to be a fly yeah, on the wall in this meeting. Yeah, yeah, please. We won't please. get in the way. No, we'll it's all good. It's all good. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to check to see if everything's okay. We're going to meet outside today and okay. uh, see how where we get to at the end of it. Did you manage to get rid of the bats? No, it's still going. They're good. still there. So, overall it went very well. We've currently got planning permission for just four houses and ten apartments. Mm -hmm. And basically, they've said in principle that we can have, we've got planning for 12 apartments and about houses. So it's like, it's going to increase the gross development thing, value by a lot. One thing that they like, and they'll yeah. be like, yeah, you can have it. Yeah. And that difference is millions of pounds. Yeah. Exactly. That's insane. And also, and I think as well, when people don't know me, if you just watch me on YouTube and then I'm not at the meeting, they might just think, oh, I've seen him, he's a bit of a loud mouth. Mm. And, yeah, no, let's not give it to him. Yeah. And yeah. I think you and Ben together is a really good match. Ben's amazing, isn't he? Mm -hmm. okay. So tomorrow I'm going to be like Bristol. Covid's obviously a barrier, but could it also be a, an advantage in some way? I mean, is it likely to affect the prices in any way or is it, is it possibly a... The only advantage will be it's easier to get planning at the moment. Yeah. So mm -hmm. costs haven't dropped, house prices haven't dropped at all. Mm -hmm. I've noticed um, that. I mean, how long is that going to last? Oh, yeah. I think, I don't know, but I would imagine sort of probably January. Mm. As mm. the 
as the furlough money runs out <laughs> and as bounce back stop, loans yeah. stop being <clears throat> given out and things. Yeah. And speaking from a personal perspective, there's benefits of COVID in the sense that I'm not crazy busy. Mm. Usually I'm flying country to country. Oh yeah, of course. Of yeah, course, so yeah, yeah. if COVID hadn't happened, would I be sat here right now? Probably not. No. So, mm. yeah. So you're making hay while you can. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And then how did the relationship with Samuel start? I mean, that was something you, you well, saw we're not on, dating on the internet anything. and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> Professional relationship with Samuel. <laughs> I just messaged you on Instagram, right? Just found the message. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. Okay. Hi, Samuel. It'll be great to have a chat if you're available for a FaceTime sometime soon. I'm just getting into the real estate market. Oh. There we go, see? Yeah, was... Right there. But uh, don't get me wrong, <laughs> I get people messaging me all the time that are well known, have a high profile that are me, and I don't spend time with them like I do with Liv. So it's not just like, oh, she's got 4 million TikTok followers, it's not like that. I think we're quite similar though, in the sense that I wasn't just dabbling, like I said that yeah. to you as soon as I met you, I said, yeah. yeah. And I also wikied her, and I saw that she, on her Wikipedia page, actually said, she's just set up a property company, and I just thought, <laughs> I want to be part of this. <laughs> you know what I mean? If, it yeah. was, if Liv had just said to me, oh, I'm interested in doing property one day, I'd have probably then just said to her, oh, okay, cool, well, you know, giving her just a little bit of a, giving her a link to some video or whatever. What do you like with risk? I mean, are you a little bit... I'm not a worrier. You're not a worrier. You'll yeah. go for it if you think yeah. it's a bit of a... Definitely, yeah. like, I'm not stupid with it. If, like, mm. two options present themselves and one's got less risk, then obviously I'm going to yeah. go with that. But I'm not, I'm willing to risk everything because I'll always bet on myself. Mm. Like, if it's down to me, then I'd risk everything because I trust myself because I know I'll put whatever work yeah, in is yeah. needed. But if the risk is out of my control, I might be a bit more cautious, but I'm young and I don't worry. Like, mm. I, I could lose everything tomorrow yes, and there is no doubt mm. in my mind I'll rebuild it. Yeah. In fact, it'd be quite exciting. <laughs> like, take everything, watch me build it again. And You've quicker. seen success would do that so many times as well. It's, it, it's, yeah, it's a bit success of a theme, isn't is, it? It's mm. not luck. Like, if you've got lucky, then you might get one project that does well. You might do one TV show that did well, one viral video. Mm. But if you've maintained that success for years, mm. like, I know what success takes. To become the best in the world at something, yeah, you, must work really hard. you work your ass off, and it's years and mm. years of dedication people can't even begin to imagine yeah. to become the best on the planet yeah. at something. So I understand that, and that is why I just believe in myself so much. So you're massively driven. Yeah, so I just things, trust yeah. myself and trust yeah. the process. And you'll do the work. 100%. Tomorrow's going to be a fun day. Yeah, today's been good though. Today's been I've chill. learned a lot. That Have meeting you? was really, yeah, yeah. That meeting was great, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it was. I learnt a lot, so yeah, thanks for today. That's all right. Should we get going then? Well, tomorrow's an early start, right? Tomorrow, first meeting is at 8 a.m. 8 a.m. In Heathrow, which is a place. <laughs> <laughs>Good morning people so it's about 7 a.m. and I'm heading right now to go and meet with Samuel we're gonna meet in about half an hour before his 8 a.m. meeting let's go look at these the man himself the legend that is <laughs> He's so cool. okay so Samuel's actually in this room now it's about 8 a.m. so he's just got on a call with a guy called Raheem who used to be a student, he might still be actually, um, but Raheem has a business proposal for him, so he's dealing with that. And then straight after that, he's actually on stage in this very room for his training academy. There's only like 10 people because of COVID, but it looks pretty cool. Let's check it out. And, um, and basically, doing deal sourcing, and what he's looking at
is being liked. That's how most people live. I just want to be liked. I just want to be liked. I just want to be loved. I, you, you need to leave that at the door on the business of property investing. It says I just need to be liked. You can say, I just need to be known. I just need people to know that my product exists. I just need people to be aware. I am very, very impressed. Samuel's obviously got the knowledge of the industry. We know that, we've known that. He wouldn't be at the level he's at without that knowledge. So he's good at that, but it's one thing having the knowledge and one thing being able to deliver and capture an audience like he's just done. So when he says he's a property investor, developer, and a trainer, the two things are completely different. It's like me with freestyle. Like it's one thing being a freestyler, but to be able to coach someone is completely different. You have to understand things very different. And the way he speaks and the way he's like high energy, enthusiastic, captivates the audience and almost lets them navigate what he wants to talk about, but really he knows all along what he's talking about. But the way he does it and he gets them to answer questions or ask questions, very, very clever. He's a very talented guy and these people are here for two days for this event and I know they're going to learn a lot. It's going to be awesome. But we're twin for Samuel now. Here he is. Yes, we're heading yes. off. Gender reveal time. Oh yeah. Time you excited? Yeah. Hey. yeah. How are you doing? <laughs> How are you doing? Are you excited to know? Yeah. Hello. Hello. Okay. Nice to meet you. At last. Ooh, I, I feel know. like we've already met. I know. Have you got it in there? Have you looked at it? Yeah, I know, I know what it is. It is a drum roll. I'm happy either way, go on. It's a girl! Oh, it's a girl! It's a girl! Oh, it's a girl. Oh, it's a girl. Oh, that is so is it Jessica? Jessica. Oh, that's oh, a lovely name. I am really pleased. I know, too. I was like, oh. I was like, his heart's gonna burst. Oh, he can't even deal. <laughs> You excited? Yeah. Do you reckon this house with us? Yeah, 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 I'll come with you. It's only 12 minutes from here. Cool. Right, should we go? Yeah, let's go. I'll meet you there, sweetheart. Yeah, just text me the address. Oh, I'll text you. So, this one looks quite interesting. So, this came up on Right Move a couple of days ago. It's got planning permission to build two detached houses at the rear. So yeah, it looks dead exciting. This is actually for my development. So yes, this is part of Samuel's day. So it's in this vlog. But this is for a development that I'm looking for and he's helping me, he's mentoring me through the process. It's not as simple as we thought. No, uh, land with the, and build with the, with the, with the road uh, situation, the yeah. access. It depends on the numbers, doesn't it? But I think you'd keep the bungalow and refurb it. Because mm. it looks at the same standard as the one next to it. So I'd be keen to know how much that is valued and sold for. I think we just need to do more fact finding. We just need to find out what the, the what the planning permission is, mm -hmm. how, what the, um, what the houses are, yeah. are they two bed, three bed, four bed, mm -hmm. and how much is it going to cost to get that road? Yeah, if you can. You I, don't know if it's a, I, I don't think you'll extend the road. I think you'll have their driveway and then put a drop down curb. Yeah, very, very good. Yeah. We'll be back at the house at about half three. Awesome. Okie dokie then. Well, enjoy the rest of your day. Yeah, your busy day. <laughs> we will. See you later. Take care, guys. Let me in. Yo, could you let me in, bro? I'm at your guy. Yeah. So, is there a reason that the office is at the side of his house? Can he expense his house or something? Yeah. But not many people would want their office at the house. Yeah, it's cool. Yeah. It's just if you've got a meeting, you've got everyone coming to your house. Yeah. Some people wouldn't like that. No, but Russell's like me. He just lives and breathes work, so. Yeah, okay. That's why he lives in a house like this. Yeah. Because he lives and breathes what he does. Yeah, exactly. Wow. Look at this house. So this is Russell's house. Russell is obviously Samuel's brother and business partner. And the new company office is actually this building here. So it's not finished yet. It's still in development, but let's go check it out. It's going to save them a ton of money because for their offices in London, they was paying like £20,000 a month. So it's more efficient because you're not traveling to work and saves a hell of a lot of money. Win-win. I've actually read Russell's book. I don't know if he knows, like I know who he is and I follow him and everything, but this is our first time meeting. So I 
I've, I felt like this is such an important meeting that we kind of all needed to be here. Um, so I'll go make this call while you sort that out, man. Cool. And uh, yeah, all right, guys, thanks for all being here, though. I appreciate it, and I'm excited. Uh, no, this is actually Samuel. Hey. So take it as a, take it as a yes, and I look forward to hearing from you when you tell me you've got your first deal, and I look forward to celebrating. Okay. All right, and if you need any help, and you get stuck, book another call. Thanks so much. Here we go. Call one now. Mm. It's a no-brainer. She wasn't really asking you the question. No, she wanted confirmation. Yeah, reassurance. But a lot of people do want that. She's lacking confidence. Yeah. So what we're going to do now? We're going to go back to my house, which is like literally ten minutes away, mm -hmm. if that. Um, and we're gonna do, a, we've, got, we've got a few YouTube videos to quickly bang out. Mm -hmm. um, that's it really, a little bit of filming and then we'll go. Oh, hey! Hello! Hello! Hello. Hello. Liv is in Samuel Leeds' house! I'm not sure it's big enough. I know. <laughs> uh, do you know what? I feel like every hour that I'm spending with Samuel, I find more and more reasons to make me want to get into real estate. Like, just when I thought I couldn't feel any more motivated, he says to me, come to my house, Liv, it's massive. And we've got a hot tub. And I'm like, a hot tub, okay, that could be cool. Like a meter by meter. How are we both going to fit in it? He undersold the hell out of this hot tub. This is not a hot tub. This, this, this is a swimming pool. This is bigger than my local leisure centre's pool. Look at it, it's got bubbles and all sorts. I get lost in it. So we're gonna go in. Now, disclaimer, I do get a tiny, tiny discount off the hot tub for featuring it in a YouTube video. So I'm gonna leave a link in the description. That's my disclaimer, okay? I'm not becoming an influencer now, I'm a property guy, but uh, was that really cringy? Would you not say that? No, you nailed it. No, do you reckon? Perfect, yeah. No, it really and according to Liv Cook, that wasn't cringy, and that's what I'm supposed to say. Don't quote me on that. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so let's get in there. Oh yes! Oh yes! Oh yes! Oh yes! Okay, this is not even a hot tub, is it, Liv? What is this? It's a swimming pool, this thing. It's, it's like not a hot tub. It's a cross between a swimming pool and a hot tub. So the interesting thing is, banks, okay, and companies will let you buy this. You'll even see on the adverts. Buy now, pay later. No problem. It's interesting that you can buy a hot tub now and pay for it later, but you start saying do that with a house, buy an investment property now and pay for it later. People go, oh, that sounds dodgy. Oh, it's risky. What happens if the investment goes down? It's like, well, this is crazy. So invest in nice things. Spoil yourself sometimes, but only do it when first you become financially literate. You understand the difference between good debt and bad debt. You understand what an asset and a liability is, and you're paying for it out of your passive income, not your active income. That'd be my advice. Yeah, perfect. Are we good? Yeah. All right. <sighs> hey, what's up, guys? My name is Samuel Leeds, and welcome to this week's Q&A Sunday. I've been investing in property now for 12 years, and I'm going to be answering your property investment questions right here, right now, on this video. Please do Below. I'm going to be answering more questions next week and don't forget to subscribe, turn the notification bell on and I'll see you next time. <laughs> there we go. Perfect. Perfect. One right. take wonder. There are always one takes these. Yeah. That's Never ridiculous talent that is. Hey, I'll see you in the morning. <laughs> Sleep well. Have a good time drive. You will. I'll see you in Manchester. See you in Manchester. 9am. 9am. I'll, I'll be, I'll be leaving departure. at half past five. What, sorry? I'll be leaving at half past five. Exactly. Still got more, I've, by the way, she's a slacker because I've still got more filming to do. Then I'm going for a run. Like, like you've got half a day with me. You've got um, half a day. Leave him to it. I'm knackered. <laughs> I'm there. going to bed. Bye. I'll see you at 9am. Okay, day three of the shadowing vlog and we are in the north of England today. I feel a little bit more at home here because like, I was born here, raised here and I live here, so I'm excited for today. I'm heading now to meet Samuel in Halifax. Let's go. Yeah. Hi, Hi guys, hey. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for your patience. Nice Hello. to meet you. Okay, when you said see you tomorrow, I didn't know you meant literally tomorrow. <laughs> oh, right, you thought it was just like a... <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah. Oh god, he's stroking a sheep. <laughs> I told JL though. Um, oh my god, Turns and runs off. <laughs> you know your mates are, don't you, when you have sheep yeah. attacking you? No. Look at what's in the footage back, seeing you just literally go. <laughs> Hat comes half <laughs> Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think we need to know the GDB as well. Yeah. Because he's very, should we say, generous about the numbers. He's saying, like, that one sold for 1.3 mil, that one's 600 yeah, yeah. grand. We need to get accurate numbers on that, oh, yeah, I think. I think right. Yeah, definitely. Two houses for the price of one. Okay. But I had a lot of work. And it's just internal work. Okay. But um, it's selling for potentially asking is ninety. Mm -hmm. um, and if you do them both up, you you can sell them for ninety each. Okay. Um, but then it looks like there's about 35 40 k worth of work. Can you see? Right at the oh, top, a couple of missing tiles. Well, just at the top, it's just a few little gaps. I mean, listen, it's you know I'm not a roof expert, but if the roof doesn't look Neat. If there's little gaps and cracks and missing bits, then I would recommend just saying, you know what, let's get a, let's get a roofer just to look at it. Yeah. It doesn't look like it needs a new roof. It might just need a little bit of patching. Yeah. Even the link. I was trying to press the link that I put in the, the um, spreadsheet, and I couldn't even get in. So I can load my laptop up. Yeah. Oh, hold on. The hold on. There's a sheep. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was a sheep. Um. So yeah. So it's um. Yeah, it's been. I mean, it's been a long. It's been a long road. Do you mm -hmm. know what I mean? I started, yeah. you know, living in a council house, living in hostels at, the, at 16 years old. 16 years 16, old. 16. Moved out at 16. Living in hostels. You know, wow. living really like hand to mouth on benefits for years and stuff. You know, <laughs> now really, look at you. Yeah, and then oh you know, God. building. You know, building a, a, a commercial business, buying my council house, and then obviously now going on a, a on a. So venture. you bought the council house that you were I living in. I bought the council house. Through how was that? Through property. Yeah. So I. So I had, uh, so I built a, a commercial business, a cocktail bar called Tunnel London, um, which is a very successful cocktail bar. I must say myself. I'll have to check it out. Yeah, definitely. Come on down. Um, and uh, through that, I was able to generate a good enough salary to be able to buy my property. Okay. And um, it's a sentiment to me. It's one of those houses that you're always going to have because it means so much to me. It's a milestone. Yeah, exactly. In that. Your life, yeah, yeah, that's it. I love that. That's such a nice story. You've literally come from nothing. Literally nothing. <laughs> and worked your yeah, way. Yeah. So Everything you have now, so that's something amazing. out of nothing. You must be so proud. Oh, I like, love seeing oh. that the, your academy started this. Well, yeah, that, well, yeah, of course. That, and, I, and honestly, a, pe a lot of people might think, God, yeah, yeah, right. Um, but actually, seriously, like Samuel actually introduced me to networking. Mm -hmm. He actually introduced me to to the industry of property. Mm -hmm. He like like so from from that course, he taught me about financial freedom. Alright, viewings on viewings on viewings! And also, you said there was a car park? Yeah, yeah, so you just dropped it in at the end that yeah. there's two car parks, there's one either side, and there's more land, a stretch of land. So she's gone to view oh, that. Nice. But I know you, and you're always late to your meetings, so you're not looking. We are going straight to your meeting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we, we gotta really go. Do. We really do. So quick bye and let's go. Yeah, I feel bye. like you're PA, making sure you're on time. Right, we're gonna shoot because we've got another meeting in Manchester. Yeah, go for it. Hey, yeah. you're amazing. Honestly, I'm so proud. Right, it was nice to meet you. Oh, Cheers. is this the professional oh, version? Yeah. All right, yeah, I'll look it up.
someone else in the northern market. <laughs> no. Smashing it. Yeah. Yeah. Not too many ladies up here doing the flowers. Oh. It's not in the industry at all, really. <laughs> Never mind. Absolutely amazing. Yeah. Well, listen, thank you very much for letting me shadow you. Oh, you're so welcome. I can't actually remember the last time I've learned so much in like a short space of time. But like, I feel like every hour I'm learning something new That's and good. I'm just being reminded how much I actually don't know. <laughs> yeah. How much more I've got to learn. Even me, though, I've been learning over the last few days as well. Just yeah. every day's a learning day, so yeah. it's been amazing. Well, guys, don't forget, like, comment, share, and subscribe because this guy's channel is boss. All things property, he is the go-to man. The I best in the country, developing, investing, training, you name it, he does it. So. Share the love. Thank you very much. Live Cook out. Boom.